All right, folks, so this is uh, pretty well sanded down, ready to go. We'll get some glass on here. I have this uh, packing tape uh, gun. I'm going to put just some of this tape over the uh, serial number for the boat so it doesn't get, doesn't get a uh, epoxy with anything. Alrighty, so I have packing tape over the over the serial number for the boat. All right, let's lay some glass on this transom on the edge here. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my rags here and my ice tone, and uh, I'm gonna clean the surface really well. Because that's what I'm going to do the top, you know, the sides, the back, all that good stuff. So, let me get it really cleaned up really well, and I'll be back. Alright folks, I'm back. So hopefully the battery lasts. I have another one sitting here ready to go. It'll make funny noises and then die on me when it goes bad. So, um, hopefully this doesn't happen in the middle of a batch, but I'm going to show you how I switch out nozzles on these pumps real quick because we're not going to use the fast for this layup bumping into a file here so what I do is this is the can of fast, if you can see that, fast hardener and here's the can of slow so what I do is First, I'll unscrew the cap for the slow and just set that aside. Then I'll take the fast and I'll unscrew the pump off the top. Now, use gloves, these things are messy as, as I'll get. So I take it out, you see it's dripping a little bit out of the bottom. What I'll do is, in the same container, I'll pump it back in like this. And that clears the pump. I mean, it clears most of it out. Okay, so that's back in the fast. And then, I just dip it right into the slow. Screw it right onto the slow. Now you get a batch. You'll get a batch that's kind of a weird few drops of of a uh, slow mixed with hard. And then I take the cap from the hardener that was closed and put it on the one that had the pump on it. It's an easy peasy. All right, I'm back. I got two batches mixed up. Here is. Two, I think it, I, three pumps, I think, and uh, it's 105 and 206, so that's the slow, and that's unthickened, comes right off the, off the uh, stick, and then this batch, this batch is I think two pumps, that, yeah, that's three pumps, this is two pumps of each, this one has a little thickening agent added to it just to fill in any randomness that'll be underneath the glass. So I've already sanded all this, so I already acetoned down and cleaned. So the first thing I am going to do is wet out the surface. And this is the first time I've ever uh, laid up glass that I have to fare afterwards. So when we get to that point, it'll be fun. And I hope the battery doesn't die. But I have another, so it'll only be a short little time. So all I'm going to do is just paint on this, wet it out. So.
just a nice light coat just to get the surface going hopefully it should be enough you know I hate wasting product I'm trying to keep runs at a minimum because I hate sanding. So I'm thinking the first coat of glass I'll start from this edge and lay over and then this edge and lay over that way. And that'll give a double layer on top and then we can go from there as to what to do with it. But I'll figure that out in a little bit here. I just got to get this surface wetted up. And with the slow, you got a little bit of time. Not a ton, but, you know. Enough to get things done. It's wetting out all the way across. Why is this brush being stupid with me? It's flinging little bubbles, uh, little droplets of epoxy everywhere. I don't like to spend money on the rollers because they're expensive. See, we have plenty of, uh, well, I don't know if it's plenty, but there's, there'll hopefully be enough left to wet out the glass. If not, we just give a couple more pumps in the same cup. And then we'll wet the glass out. So I'm going to do both layers both start layers, that is, right from the get, so, let's see what happens, where we end up, all that good stuff, and it's only six ounce glass, so it might wet out really, really, I have some 17 ounce, holy shit, that stuff soaks it right up. That's what this bolt behind me, this one that's being built, that's what the hole is all covered in. That one is 17 ounce. I used so much product with that one. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. Okay. There we go. Now that's all wetted out. Let that sit for a minute, you know. Just for a minute. Yeah. I'll brush on some of this thickened in certain spots. And then we'll lay some glass, folks. I'll use the same brush and everything. So, a little bonding up at the top because there's a few little holes up there. That's why I left it kind of uh, sloppy so it's soaking. Here's one of the brush hairs that we don't want. I mean, it just act like filler as well, but you know. Trying to do it the right way, just like everything in life. Trying. Doesn't always work out that way, you know. We, we all have our some quirks going on sometimes with life in general. Now, see, this side is where it really needs some of this filler just to uh, get rid of some of the sloppiness of the sanding and all that goody goody in this radius here goodness radius here and see this little bit of um, um thickened is almost gone I didn't put any on the back side because that's really easy to sand See, like there's a hole right there. A little bit right there. 
I forget the working time on this stuff, but got a decent amount of time because it's the slow. I think there's even extra slow too. That stuff is super slow. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm just getting a coat of this on there, and that was a perfect amount. Holy juice. Uh, a little bit right there. Look, nothing left. Love it. Alright. Here we go now. So what I'm going to do is lay it over the edge. Of the hole. Just start... I'm going to work hopefully all the way across the boat. I don't want to yank on it too hard yet. Just get her stuck down. Try and get her on it. On the turn. I might have to snip some of this while I'm uh, working on it. I do have this. All right, there we go, back with the full battery again. I've just been kind of laying out the, uh, laying out the epoxy all over this glass. The humidity must be doing something with it because it just is not soaking it up. Unless this slow has different properties than the fast, I don't know. I'm not the chemist. And then, you know, the battery would have to die right in the middle. And then somebody called me that I had to answer. So, anyway, I'm going to come over here and pump more up. Put a little more epoxy on here so we can lay another one. And get the first layer going. Let's see. Take this out. Alright, give this a stir. I might actually be able to lay that right now. But we need to we need to be able to wet that out too. So once we get it on here. This is a messy job, I tell you what. For an amateur like me. Alright, there's some new epoxy. Let's lay the other half now. Because this is layer one. Even though there's two layers on the top, this is going to be layer one. I didn't want it to get all crazy. And while the camera was dead, I had to take the scissors and cut little notches like in the corners and stuff so it would lay better. And you'll see that once I lay this glass down here too. I might only go, you know, one more layer over this. Close. Yeah. Often thought. Mm-hmm. Give it a little more stir. And I was using my homemade roller to roll it out. It's a just a billet aluminum or whatever piece of aluminum. Turned it down on the lathe, drilled a hole in it, and put it on a paint roller. Oh, I had to thread the end so an actual nut would fit on there to hold the roller on, but other than that, you know, it's a lot cheaper than the 20 or 30 bucks they were trying to charge for one that was an actual brand name one. And it's pretty much the same exact thing. If I need to get one with the notches in it, 
Oh, I can just machine the notches in it. I have a parting tool for the lathe, so. Okay, so. Just coating this on here, getting it on. Seeing where we need to put notches, where the scissors go. Alright, so we'll make a cut here in the corner so it lays flat. So I'm thinking straight this way, maybe. Right to that corner. We'll see. Give it a snip this way. There we go. Now folks, a good tip is to not leave your scissors closed after you make some of these relief cuts because they will epoxy shut. Trust me, I've had been dumb like that. Had it happen. You just have to throw the scissors away and get new ones, you know. Alright, so we're going to trim out a little bit out of here. There we go. Oh, here comes more monsoon again. Alright, so we need to put a little more, a little more juice on here. take the ace tone and uh clean my flip flop and my toes off these mixing pots are great the corners are square and the bottom so you can get all the product mixed in and everything but cleaning them is a little difficult because the uh markings that are in the plastic are on the inside of the cup it should be on the outside of the cup so it's completely smooth on the inside and it's easy, much easier to clean that way. That is the only complaint I have about these. sailing in the North Channel on a boat and the captain decided I was not the captain the captain decided to sail into the harbor but he didn't take the channel <laughs> said oh it's deep enough we, we, we'll make it ran aground Luckily, it was a soft, nice soft bottom. And, uh, 
after a few hours of mucking about, I had to go ashore with one of the locals who dropped by and asked if we were okay. I ran ashore and the fi finally, after a couple of hours, found the guy who had the biggest boat in town, a fishing fishing boat. And uh, we went out and on that fishing boat and finally pulled off the sailboat. It was a 40 foot CNC. I forget how old it was, but uh, cool little part of that story. Uh, the knot that the captain of all people tied between two sheet lines for a jib. He tied a knot that when we finally got tugged off, it's for us to get tugged off. So the other end of the, one end of the line went to our boat, and the other end of the line went to the fishing boat. And the knot that was in between these two lines, never coming out. Never, ever coming out. So after this all said and done, I had to cut that knot out of that line. And I believe I still have it as a souvenir to this day in my uh, sea chest. There. Let's put on a Leia. A Leia. Leia. This one I'm going to lay in the middle so it just drapes over. And kind of caps the whole thing. So now on the top of the transom there is 18 ounces of glass because of the two layers, original layers. And then, oh yeah, these are getting nice and sticky. Two original layers and then this layer. So let's roll this in. Oop. She's sticking. She needs to be wetted out more. So let's get our mixing pot with some more goo. More goo. This one's the hardest one to get right there. And cut there. And if we need another cut or two here and there, we'll do that. But that's the main cuts we need to do. Get it to lay down.
few bubbles there. Some product here is a little dry. Starting to kick off now, it's getting weird or gooey. Gooey weird. It's a little dry. Dry. It's just you can still see the pattern of the glass. I think I'm gonna call that. Stick a fork in it. All that good stuff. Alright, off with the gloves. Oh shoot. You don't do that every day. Alright, fly over. It's getting there. That's what you don't do every day. That's funny. They just, I took them off. They shot across the thing. Oh, one plopped down. Let's take the other one off so it doesn't do stupid things to the finish. Anywho, I'll probably come back in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe check it, see if I can. I'm going to do a little research on the, uh, on the uh, filler, the microlite. And uh, see if I can roll this out. I'll see. Let's get a close up here. There we go. Maybe I'll come back with the roller in about 30 or minutes or so. See if I can get some of these corners to do pretty things like this. Because it seems like when it's stickier, it wraps better. A little bit of air bubble there. I don't know. I've never been good at wrapping these corners. I, I broke the corners. I did everything. Like the West Marine or the West System Tech told me to do. To get this to work out like it should. And I still have trouble. But you know. And that's just how it goes. Here's a little bubbly here. Let's see if we can't wrap this around. There we go. That's a little better. A little bit of air bubble over here. I mean, the surface is prepped. It's sanded. It has good tooth, so all this will stick. Yeah, I think I'll wait on the filler, because then I can uh, give her a good sanding. I'm just kind of pulling it around the corner. I don't know what this weird, weird uh, bubbly stuff that comes out of this is. I don't see any bubbles on this side. Maybe a few over here. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with the corner. I don't know, it keeps getting a, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, see how it keeps getting the glass pattern in there? I mean, I know the fibers are soaked, just don't know if it's where it needs to be. But, you know, if at first you don't succeed, we'll do it again. Anyway, 
Mail call for now. Boat love.